Hi guys, welcome back to Harvey Homestead, or if you're new, welcome to Harvey Homestead. I'm Lisa, and today's video I'm going to show you how I uh, pluck and clean a chicken for the freezer. This is our second time raising meat birds, and I gotta tell you, we learned a few things. So, one, to get the feathers out, to pluck them, it's important to have water at the perfect temperature. So. The rule of thumb I use is if you can put your finger in the water, but it's too hot to hold it in the water, then that's perfect. In this video, I cleverly demonstrate how when you over boil the skin, the feathers don't come out and it rips the skin. Totally did that on purpose. <sighs> um, so you'll see as I'm working the bird, some feathers actually do come out all right, but you'll see as I'm moving the bird around that there are chunks of skin missing and honestly I didn't even realize that I had had the water too hot until I was all finished and I was putting my equipment away. I used a, uh, a Camp Chef propane stove and I realized I didn't turn the burner off when I did the bird previous to this bird. I just turned it down so it was it was way too hot. We just keep learning. Um, Second thing, chickens are notorious for pecking at each other, or at least once they start pecking at somebody, like one of your chickens, they all peck at them, and especially if they start getting injured, like bleeding. So we use, you want to get, uh, it's called stop pick, it's probably going to be backwards, anyways. Um, you put it on their feathers, and it, it's like cayenne pepper, so it, the chickens taste it, and they don't want to touch the injured chicken again. Last thing I want to bring up is rules and regulations about selling meat. Uh, in Canada, you cannot butcher an animal at home and then sell it to somebody. It has to go through a federally licensed slaughterhouse, an abattoir. You can butcher your meat for your own consumption and your family's consumption, but it is still illegal to feed your friends if they come over. So anyway, so if you're looking at doing this, you know, homesteading and trying to, you know, generate some income off of raising meat animals, check the regulations and make sure that you're not going to get yourself into trouble. All right, let's get on with the video. Let's do it. How dare you? Not today. No! 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 Mom? Yes? Tell us, how old are these birds? These birds are nine weeks old. Uh, ideally, you want to butcher them at between eight and ten. They're the uh, rock cross. Uh, I think people refer to them as boilers. So they're the ones that get really big, really fast. And you really don't want to let them get too big because actually we found their meat was pretty tough last year when we let them, we just kind of let them get it. I don't know, I think they were three months old or older. Um, so we're hoping that this year they'll be a little more tender. Hmm. And uh, this year they were at, they actually ran around. They weren't like just sitting everywhere. They were actually pretty hyper, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we kept them in the chicken tractor. And so we moved them every day, almost every day. They were fed, say, grass. Oh, Skin is ripping off. I'm not too sure where. Okay. Uh, they eat grass, cracked corn, and poultry grower.
This one. Start with the legs. Put the slight pressure up. And the foot. Pinch the skin here. And I'm trying to draw, draw. I'm trying to cut a line down this way where the pelvis is on both sides. Now this is just the skin layer and underneath is the fat and membranes and you want to be careful not to cut too foot deep or you'll nick the intestines which you don't want. So now I can grab this fat layer here. Down. Turn it over. Cut the tail off. And we're going to meet up that line down here. Again, on a sharp knife and gentle strokes so that you don't uh, cut into anything you don't want to. I'm just trying to break apart connective tissue, muscles, and fat. Now, I'll we'll start at the top. You want to cut too far down because then your skin won't cover the breast meat. So, make a cut here. I'm going to start loosening all the windpipe and esophagus away from the skin and the neck. Reach up inside the cavity for the gizzard, which is a very hard organ. It feels like a rock. And I just hold the underside of the breast. Ooh, everything comes out pretty much in one shot. 